Welcome. In this video, we are going to be looking at compound inequalities, and particularly compound inequalities that are OR inequalities. So an OR inequality um, has two different scenarios that cannot happen at the same time, generally. Um, so things like x is less than 3 or x is greater than 5. So our solutions include all of these things that are less than 3, as well as all of these things that are greater than 5, it does not include these things in the middle here. So solutions to this compound inequality could be zero or eight or negative 10 or positive 500. Things that would not be solutions to this compound inequality would be four, three, 4.5, anything that's in this gap here that our compound inequality doesn't cover. So how do we solve these inequalities if they're not already solved for us? Um, we're just going to solve each inequality independently, then graph together. And so we're going to look at um, each of these inequalities individually and then put their graphs together on the same graph. So if I have x plus 2 is less than negative 6 or x plus 2 is greater than 6, we're just going to solve each of these in independently from each other. Keeping in mind solving inequalities, it's just like solving in equations. Unless we multiply or divide by negative, then we have to flip that symbol so then we get these two inequalities. X is less than negative eight, or X is greater than four. Um, and then we're just gonna graph them on the same graph. So this is a little trickier with where you put your things. We wanna make sure we include negative eight and four. Um, so in this case, those are 12 apart. So um, we might wanna stretch our graph a little bit and maybe go up by twos. So that we make sure we get two both of those values okay so think for a minute about how you're going to set up your um your number line here to make sure that you include the values there so we are x is less than negative eight so doesn't get to negative eight we're going to use that open circle still we don't want negative eight to look like a solution and then our x values are variables smaller than negative eight so smaller values are left on the number line or x is greater than four so again we're not equal to four but we're anything larger than four. So the solution to this compound inequality could be 10 or negative 15 or 347 or negative 1 million, but not to negative two or zero or four or two or five, negative five. Those would not be solutions to our inequality. All right, let's take a look at one more here solving and then we will look at one that we just graphed. So we have 2x plus 1 is less than 1, or x minus 2 is less than 0. So again, we're just going to look at those two inequalities independently and then graph them on the same graph. So subtract 1, 2x is less than 0, 5 by 2, x is less than 0, add 2, x is greater than 2. So our solution is x is less than zero or x is greater than two. So again, on our number line, we're just going to graph. So make sure you include values so that we know where we're at. Okay, x is less than zero. So again, we're going right up to zero, but not including zero. Less than zero, your variables, the smaller things, smaller numbers on your number line are to the left. x is greater than two, again, not including two. Values that are larger, we're going to the right. Okay, last thing we're going to look at today is writing an inequality from the graph. Um, so we're just going to look at each part of the graph and write a separate inequality. So if we just look at this part here, our border place is 5. So x is going to relate to 5 in some way. It's not equal to because it's an open circle. And where all of these numbers left, left are smaller. So x is less than 5, covers this half of the graph. Here, my border point is 6. So or x, and then 
all of these values here are greater than six. Six is filled in, so it also could be equal to six. So just looking at each side, how does how do the filled in spaces relate to um, that border point? And are we including it or not including it? So make sure you're asking yourself those questions as you are working through these. Okay, thank you for watching.